Hello everybody, my name is Nathan Sifu, and welcome to Mass Effect 3. Let's play. Commander, I'm hearing chatter you're brokering a treaty between the Krogan and the Turians. If I get Krogan boots on Palavin, the Turians promise me their support. And how does Cerberus get involved? I don't know. The elusive man is up to something. Then keep them at bay. I can't overstate what a victory this treaty would be for the Alliance. We'll need all the help we can get. How's the Prothean device coming? Alliance R&D has officially begun construction. The team has dubbed it Project Crucible. We're throwing everybody who knows how to hold a hammer at it. This is going to be the most ambitious undertaking in human history. Will we get it done? I'm not saying it won't be a challenge. But our researchers tell me the designs are elegant, massive in scope, but strangely simple as well. We can do this, Shepard. You can do this. Never doubt that. No, sir. Good. Hack it out. Project Crucible. That's big. It's huge. the female rex a cure for the rest of your people can come later that wasn't the deal but palavin needs your reinforcements now we can't delay unless every krogan gets the cure there's no alliance morton how long will it take to finish a cure need to synthesize base antigen from female also requires healthy male krogan tissue we'll need a sample you're looking at it acceptable We'll need you to remain aboard Normandy for a procedure. Uh, let's hope the food's gotten better. <laughs> uh, difficulty formulating a cure that works for every Krogan sounds like a tall order, Morden. Can you do it? Of course. Similar to Genophage Modification Project. Working against own alterations this time. Not as simple as garbage DNA blocking attachment sites. We'll need to counteract shutdown of redundant nervous system, adjust neurotransmitter levels. Got it. We'll create cure, Shepard. Don't need to worry. Uh, do what you can, uh, do what you can, Morden. Then get started, Morden, and make it quick. Always do. We'll be in Med Bay if you'd like to speak more. Eve requires tests. Eve? Female's real name unknown. Normandy, a human vessel. Human mythology seemed appropriate under circumstances. Hmm. Suggest speaking with her. New perspective. Surprising in Krogan. Now, is there anything else? There's a small matter concerning a ship we've lost contact with. What happened? I'd rather discuss it... in private. Turian problems can't even come close to what I've got. What is it? Some of my men went missing. The rest of it we can discuss... somewhere else. I'll find you both in the war room. Just be ready to talk. Right, his, his, uh, the, oh yeah, you can't see where I'm pointing. The, <laughs> um, Victus's thing is time sensitive. Too many missions and, uh, it will expire. Commander? You said one of your ships had gone missing? Crashed, actually. I couldn't speak in front of the Krogan. Our ship went down on Chuchanka. Now they're pinned by an advanced guard of Reapers scouting the planet. What are your men doing there? I'm sorry. That's classified. But it's vital they be rescued. Classified? They must complete their original mission. It's a matter of... galactic peace. Doesn't sound good. I'll do what I can. I appreciate your help. And understanding. Turn yourself to Earth. Uh, new, your new duties. Uh, Palvin situation. 
Uh, we'll start with these ones. Your men that crashed on Tachunka. How many are there? A platoon. You said their mission was a matter of galactic peace. Why? I'm sorry, Commander. As I said, it's highly classified. Look, if you want me to put my ass on the line, I need answers. I can't tell you. Please understand. The commander is Lieutenant Tarquin Victus. He'll be your contact. Victus? My son. I needed someone I could trust completely. Hmm. The Solarian Dalatras was worried about what the Krogan will do once they're cured. How do you feel? It won't matter if we don't stop the Reapers. But I understand her doubts. The moon you found me on? That's where we made our last stand against the Krogan during the rebellions. They were that relentless. How did it turn out? The Krogan started using asteroids as weapons, directing them against our colonies. Holy shit. We had no choice. The genophage was our last resort. So yes, <laughs> Krogan intentions after this war will be a serious concern, but I'd rather have a grateful ally than a resentful enemy. Um, Krogan make unusual allies. Reaching out to the Krogan for help must be difficult for you. We can't allow the mistakes of our past to cloud the future. Your race and mine were once enemies. The first contact war, as you call it. I was there, dodging shells fired by your navy. But look at us now, standing in a ship of Turian human design, working together. Uh, turn yourself for Earth and new duties, uh, from the situation. Okay, yeah. That's all. Of course, Commander. Okay, and sure, let's talk to Rex, too. Hell of a show down there on Sir Kesh. Just like the old days, Shepard. Right down to me pulling your ass out of the fire. I was the one with bullets flying at me. <laughs> and I gave you the moral support to dodge them. Uh-huh. <laughs> you said one of your squads is missing? They were scouting out the Rachni Relay. We've heard rumors of trouble in the area. Rachni? Thought that might get your attention. I have a favor to ask. It's big. Don't tell me they're back. All I know for sure is our scouts went silent as soon as they arrived. I've got Aralak Company, my best unit, on standby. You give the word, and they'll meet you there. I'll see what I can do. Get on it, Shepard. Uh, after the cure. What will you do after the genophage is cured? Once we deal with the Reapers, most Krogan will want to settle a score with the Turians and Salarians. I won't let them. That isn't our path forward. This time will be different. I'm glad to hear it. A lot of people will be relieved to hear that. No one wants to repeat history. They know we probably win this time. But war has never brought us anything except misery. It's time to focus on rebuilding. Good. Good. Um, Tachunka. What's the situation back on Tachunka? I'm still getting scattered reports of Reaper forces arriving. Something big is brewing. I won't let those things take Tachunka. Not when we're about to cure the genophage. My people have had enough bad luck in our time. Uh, yeah, female Kruger, Krogan. Back on Sir Cash, it looked like the female Krogan could hold her own. Our females don't lack for spirit. For males, a good show of force sorts things out. But females like to talk about it. Then think about it. Then talk about it some more. Women have good <laughs> ideas, Rex. You should listen. Yeah, but they have so many of them. So sometimes I pretend to listen and... Well, let's just say Krogan females have tempers, too. <laughs> uh, the... Let's see, female Krogan... The Rachni. How could there be trouble with the Rachni? They were all but extinct. The last queen promised to disappear forever or be destroyed. I know, I was there. I've got a bad feeling about this. It may not be Rachni, but maybe it is. Could be another invasion. If they're crawling out from under some rock, you know how bad it could get. We need to stop them. That's it for now, Rex. Let's get back to work. 
Any time. And Shepard, I like what you've done with the Normandy. Got tired of always hanging around the cargo bay before. I still don't have a window like Liara does, but maybe that's because I don't kiss as well. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I miss this place. <laughs> Wish I could knock some heads around I like that, you, but duty calls. If the Solarian says my DNA is important, who am I to argue? Fair enough. All right, so the attack and traverse. Okay, so let's see. Um, about ten minutes into this episode, let's see if I can work in a little bit more crew talk. Might be hard to work my way through the whole ship and say another ten minutes, but we'll see. Maybe they won't have much to say. You think the Solarians would have a base on their homeworld secured better? Nah, they were solid. Cerberus has Reaper tech. Compared to those upgrades, the Solarians might as well have been throwing rocks. Commander. Commander. Oh. Nice to see you again. Hi. How are you settling in, trainer? I actually feel somewhat useful. It's been challenging to integrate data feeds for the War Summit. How are the systems holding? Well, I'm glad we performed stress tests. Specialist trainer has been extremely helpful. The accuracy of our war room data is a direct result of her work. Thank you, Edie. I'm still getting used to all of this. In the lab, we'd hoard everything, piles of tech everywhere. Out here, it's like living out of a shoebox. <laughs> Life on an active ship always feels crowded at first. You'll get used to it. Oh, it's not a bad thing. I've got no problems getting cozy. <laughs> this is wonderful. Back in the lab, we had to hoard because we had no budget. Now, Edie, Ariaki Tech uses a proprietary smart processing algorithm that could clean up our long range data. Can we license it? We can. Analyzing and applying the upgrade now. The algorithm should reduce long range strategic combat data analysis time by 3%. Impressive. If it means getting the equipment I need, I can quite happily live out of a shoebox. <laughs> Very nice. Do I hear... Wait a second. Wait, do I hear a noise? Oh. Almost sounded like another voice. It must be background voices in the game. Anything new? Yes. Uh, and a new uh, article on Indoctrination. Alliance News Network Information Partners. Thessia, a sorry scientist, Rana Th Thanoptis, has died in custody, uh, allegedly committing suicide after she was arrested for the murder of multiple Asari uh, military officials. Prior to her death, investigators uh, said uh, uh, Thanoptis... Uh, spoke of voices in her head which they believe to be indic indicative of her indoctrination the voices t uh, foretold the ascension of the asari and uh, told thanoptus that anyone fighting the reapers needed to die whoops uh needed to die uh thanoptus worked on a top secret project for uh for former specter Saren Ar arterius several years ago where she likely became indoctrinated. Uh, she received a pardon from the Asari government in exchange for providing research assistance on Reaper technology. Wait, she's not the one I let go two times, was she? Thanoptis. I don't know. Um, Thanoptis was believed responsible for, uh, for planting a makeshift explosive device that detonated at the research center killing five visiting Asari military officials along with four civilians. The attack seriously wounded a dozen more and ca caused significant damage to the facility. The investigators say they are not uh, seeking any more suspect uh, suspects in the case. Info for you. Hi Shepard. It's been a while. I'm glad to hear you've made it off Earth and that Liara is with you. Getting off her sh old ship was the best thing we could have done. I can't tell you how sick I was of that cabin and tripping over that drone. I don't even know how to keep how it kept finding me in a ship that big, even after I had turned off its tracking. 
I dug up some interesting information uh, for you. Talk to Glyph uh, to sort it out. I hope it helps. Shepard, it's getting rough out there. Farron. Okay, so let's see. Uh, let's see what Edie's got to say. Krogan and the Turians really should get behind the Alliance. They've got so much in common, like shooting things and not wanting to die. And... No, that's about it. <laughs> it is good you came by. I have questions about the genophage. You and everyone else. What do you need, Edie? A Krogan female of breeding age can produce clutches of up to 1,000 fertilized eggs over the course of a year. There are over 1 billion females on Tachanka. If even 1% become fully fertile, they can birth 10 billion infants. On Earth, bugs have a lot of young, too. Most of them die. The attrition rate would naturally be high, but the state has an interest in keeping the children alive for warfare purposes. Any other cheerful thoughts? Logistics. Even were they to side with us, transporting the Krogan to the battlefields of Palavin could prove difficult. They have been demilitarized. That is, they have no warships. What do you suggest? They will need Turian or civilian starships to carry them to battle. With your permission, I will make the necessary calls to have these ships in place for when you deliver the Krogan. Do it. Anything else? Food. They will be unable to eat anything on Palavin. They must bring their own or rely on the nutrients in their humps. This keeps getting better and better. The Krogan will also require sedatives, since Krogan fight with others of their kind in enclosed spaces such as starships. Make it happen. Are there any last things you're worried about? Nothing that demands your attention, Shepard. So, bringing the Krogan to a war summit went well? You want me to invite the Batarians too? Or the Vorcha? <laughs> uh, yeah. Building alliances is the only way we stand a chance against the Reapers. Yeah, but the Krogan? I'd feel better if we had a tighter plan, like time travel or teaching the Reapers to love. <laughs> Still, good to have Morden back. The bad guys shouldn't get the monopoly on mad scientists. Um. Okay, so then, then there's uh, then there's everybody else down below. Let's see, is there anybody else on this level? Sometimes they move. Sometimes they move around. Prime victims, Joker, Edie. No, okay, that's everybody here. Let's see, crew deck. Uh, yes, crew deck. Uh, yeah, it was, uh, it's, it's fun talking to Rex again. That was fun, but I'll have to pause it there. If you enjoy my content and want to see more, do some of the stuff that the screen is telling you, and check out my other stuff. If you want to see me play live, check out the links in the description. Come talk to me, maybe even play with me. That is it for this episode, and I will see you in the next game.